Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Esther. Welcome to Eckhart Yoga. Um, we're going to do five feel-good stretches and we're going to go straight into it. So let's come on hands and knees. And on hands and knees, let's take a moment to center. So you can very simply do that by being aware of your hands and what touches the floor. And also feeling the coolness of the mat underneath your hands or maybe it's the warmth, depending. And come to your breath. Exhaling, and then on an in-breath you can step your right foot between your hands and just lower into this stretch, into a lunge as we call it. Maybe not all the way down, just to keep the sensations a little um, doable, maybe back off a little bit and then press into your feet and come up and inhale, take your arms up along the front and exhale, take them down, elbows bend nice and soft along the back, just feeling the shoulder blades and again inhale, sink a little deeper as you take your arms up. And exhale, you can back off a little as you take your arms down. Let's do that again. Inhale, up. And exhale, down. Bring your hands to the floor. So this is the first feel-good stretch. And then we move into the second on the same side. You're going to extend your front leg. And then inhale, finding length and working it up from the floor. So press your heel down, press your left knee down. And then find length through the spine from pressing down. And then exhale, Fold and you can really feel the hamstrings here. Not hamstrings, but the right hamstring. Breathe into it. Okay, and then coming back out and then stepping your right knee next to your left knee. Inhale here. Exhale. And then on the next in breath, step left forward. Do the same thing on the other side. So Lean into it, back off a little bit if you don't want to have too many sensations. And then inhale, take your arms up along the front. And exhale, down along the back with soft elbows again. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. And the hands back down. And then we move back into our hamstring stretch. So shift the weight back onto the right knee. Take your left foot, flex it, inhale from the ground, press into the ground and then find length through the spine and exhale, fold. And again, breathe into your hamstring stretch here. Deep breaths, because the breathing is also going to make you feel good. Opening the body, breathing, being present, all make you feel good. And gently come back out. Okay, now step into a plank pose. And the next feel good stretch, number three, is where we're going to lift our right knee in and then press our right leg to the left, so to the other side. And then here you can feel a stretch along the outer edge of your right hip. And you can even slide your foot further and bring your hips down a bit to increase the stretch. Just up to a point where it feels good. You can even come all the way down. Stay with the breath, just up to a point where you can hold this. And it really stretches the IT band around the outer hip, even along into the belly and the side body there. And on the next in-breath, press back into your hands, bring your right leg next to your left, and we take it on the other side. So extend your left leg through to the right. Inhale here and only come as far down as feels appropriate to your body. And take a breath here. Enjoy, enjoy that stretch. And it, may, it might, especially if there's tightness, come all the way up into the left side body in the belly. One more breath. And then pressing back up. Bring your left leg next to your right leg and press back into a downward dog for a moment. This is not even counted, but it will still make you feel good. Bend your knees, take your hips up and back. And then bring your right foot between your hands, drop the back knee again and come up once more. And we come into a twist, hands to the heart. You can tuck your toes under and twist to the right from the left side. So firm the left side, back body in, twist to the right and bring your left elbow on the outside of your right knee. And from here again, press into the floor and hollow your, 
your groin, so you're taking your inner thighs back a little, both, and then pull your belly in, forward and up, and find length through the spine. Breathe here. If you want to, you could take it up. Take the back knee off the floor. You don't have to. One more breath. Place your hands back down. Step back into the downward dog. And we do the other side. Step left forward. Begin by with the knee down. Come up. Inhale. And exhale from the right. Back body firming in. Twist over to your left. Elbow on the outside of the knee. And then again from the ground up. Push down. Feel the movement up. Coming up through the pelvic floor. Belly pulls in, up and forward. And the chest opens. Take a few breaths here. And if you want to, you could take your back knee off the floor. Keep pressing actively down through your left foot, taking your left hip inward. One more breath. And bring the hands down. Step back into a downward dog. Drop the knees and come to a seated position. For the last feel good stretch. Bring your left leg in front of you and take your right leg on top. Now this is strong for the hips. So you might need to have a block here to support your top knee. Or you might need to take your leg in front or you do half like that. So once you're here and your body can take it, you could press into your fingertips, press through the sit bones. And again, by pressing down, finding that lift. And then if the hips are still happy and you can sit with a long back and you can hinge from the hips, you can come forward just to that point that you feel you're getting a stretch out of it. Come back, other side. Keep your feet flexed. Inhale, again press down to lift up and then come forward if your body allows you. One more breath. Come back up and then you get one more bonus stretch. Come and sit on your knees, interlace your hands behind you, press the hands down a curl up into the spine, so you're coming up into the spine from the lower spine to the upper spine. Take your shoulders back and take your arms up. And just take a few breaths here to really open the shoulders and the chest. Press into the feet again, the legs. Find another little length, opening a little wave. And move a little, waving from left to right here. And release. Take your hands to your legs. Close your eyes. And observe how you feel for a moment. That was it. So I'm sure you'll feel a bit better with the feel-good stretches. Share them with friends and family. You know, it's, you can say it's a yoga class. It's also just getting the energy of the body going any moment of the day. It only takes about seven, eight minutes if you know what you're doing. And yeah, you just feel different. Okay, hope you enjoyed it and join me next time again. Namaste.